Boys are calling for the stateless soccer coach and three of the 12 boys rescued from a flooded cave to be made citizens of Thailand Ekapal Chentaong, or Ek as he is known has come under scrutiny as the only adult in the group of 13 who got trapped in the cave in the northern province of Chiang Rai on June 23 during an expedition Dot as well as Ek, three of the boys who were trapped in the cave alongside him Dull, Mark, and T are also stateless, the founder of the Wild Boars Club Naprat Kent Thavong said To get nationality is the biggest hope for the boys. In the past these boys have problems traveling to play matches outside of Chiang Rai, he added, because of travel restrictions that accompany their lack of status. Scroll down for video without passports they are unlikely to be able to take up the invite for Manchester United FC to visit next season. They also can't become professional football players because they don't have the correct status, he said, adding the process has begun to try to get them nationality. There are hopes the boys' ordeal will lead to a change of policy. Share this article Share Ek is a member of the Thai Lu minority, one of several groups whose people have over generations moved around the region across open borders in remote hills between southern China, Myanmar, and Laos, and into northern Thailand's ethnic patchwork of communities. Many such people do not have Thai citizenship papers and are officially stateless. The UN Refugee Agency says Thailand is home to around 480,000 stateless people. Many are from nomadic hill tribes and other ethnic groups who have for centuries lived around Mae Sai, the heart of the Golden Triangle, a lawless wedge of land bisecting Thailand, Myanmar, Laos, and China. Wienit Sisek, an interior ministry official in Bangkok, confirmed that Ek and three of the rescued boys from the Wild Boars soccer team were stateless. They are not Thai citizens, Wienit said, adding that officials were checking to see if they qualified for citizenship. Now, numerous Thais on social media are saying the boys and their coach should be given citizenship following their ordeal. Ek, 25, has not spoken publicly about the ordeal or about how the group got trapped by flood waters after a rainy season downpour. He showed remorse in a note to the boys' parents that rescuers brought out of the cave, apologizing and vowing to take the very best care of the boys. Ek is a kind and humble man, said one of his relatives, Chirompo Ratano Erikshin, 52. He loves sports, cycling and football, since he was young. He's a country boy, so he enjoys nature. Chirompal added, he would love to become a Thai citizen. Recounting ex life, Chirompal said he ordained as a novice Buddhist monk at the age of 10 after his father died. He stayed at a temple in Chiang Mai province until he was 20 when he left the monkhood to take care of his grandmother. Ek did odd jobs and lived a simple life, often sleeping at a monastery high on a hill or with friends in the town of Mae Sai on the Myanmar border, not far from the cave complex. Some people have wondered whether X background as a Buddhist monk had helped him stay calm and help the children during their ordeal in the flooded Thamaluang cave. I think he helped the children a lot, being a novice monk for 10 years, said Sharonpal. Chanta Chacham, the mother of Duangpich Promthap, 13, the rescued captain of the wild boars, said the young coach was like a father to her son. 
He even washes his clothes after practice, Chanta said. EK's Facebook page is full of photographs of him with the boys playing sports. Hours before he and the boys became trapped, he posted a last video of the wild boars practicing under a cloudy sky. Chironthal said Ek would be warmly welcomed back into the community when he left hospital. He must be feeling guilty right now, but I would say he has nothing fear. His goodness will shine through, he said.